What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today I wanted to talk to you about uh, motivation. And also, I have the question is, do you really need a marketplace or Etsy to sell your products? Now, do you? Now, I had made a previous video about my dealings with the copyright infringement and all the issues surrounding selling on a marketplace. It is ass ho. I'm telling you, it is not the cup of tea that you think it is. It really isn't. So like I told you like in one of my previous videos, I'll put the link description, that I spent an incredible amount of time being Etsy's slave for six years and really nothing to show for it. I mean, yeah, I was making between all my shops about 50k a year. Great. But here's the thing. I never really worked on my own personal site. I never really spent the time. Like the time that I had away, like I took a little bit of like a week sabbatical and just time away from Etsy because I was so frustrated with the the drama and the issues of them just allowing people just to steal my artwork and just like do absolutely nothing about it. Which by the way, um it one of the worst things that you could do is put your products on a marketplace because when people go to steal ideals for their own websites and stuff like that that's the first place they go they go to a major website and they pick ideals they take your ideals they take your art and then they repurpose it but anyways i i digress so what this video is about is i'm going to show you something and this is probably one of the most important videos you will ever watch my peeps most important so i've been working in my shopify store and i've set a few things up and a lot of times people think that they can't do something, that they can't outrank some multi-billion dollar company. Well, I'm going to show you that you can. So this is Shopify. This is what I use. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can get a discount and sign up for Shopify too. It will be the best decision you'll ever make. It's very easy to sign up. I'm going to show you how I'm outranking Etsy and how you can too. So basically, I have my store set up here. And I have the online integration with Google. And these are all the apps, all my sales channels that appear. It appears in Google, Pinterest, blah, 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 blah. So if you go to, to Google here and you type Edgar Allan Poe Photoshop brushes, okay, my listing is in here. It says in stock. But am I paying for ads? I'm not paying for ads with uh, Google. I have what you call um, the Google Shopify marriage set up into my uh, Shopify store and it's free it's absolutely free guys it's amazing let me show you so this is the app here and I already have it installed it's called Google Channel and basically what it does is it will integrate your shop across all different platforms and different stuff like that you can even have merch merchandise show up on your YouTube channel so um, let me go ahead and show you those settings. So if you click on monetization in your shop and then you go to shopping and then your products will show up in your Google, um, I, mean, I mean in your YouTube channel. So that's pretty cool, right guys? And you can go in and select which ones you want to display in your YouTube store. So that's amazing, right? So if you go to my, uh, my YouTube channel, you can click on store and all my products are showing up here. It gets better. Okay, so this is one of my videos playing. Let me go ahead and pause this. As you can see here, this is my channel and all my products are showing up on my YouTube channel. Isn't that fat? This is so freaking cool, right? Oh my God, I'm so excited. But there's, wait, there's more. Oh my God, there's more. So I just wanted to go back to that listing here and, um, this is in stock. I'm not paying for ads, guys. This is free. And my all of my listings are showing up before Etsy. You have one person here, and I'm not sure who that is. Um, some of the stuff like is almost similar to mine, but my stuff in this Photoshop pack is like from um, the, uh, what do you call it? So I went like dumpster diving for like public domain stuff. 
and I made these cool Edgar Allan Poe Photoshop brushes. So as you can see, they're all listed in here, and this is from my regular site. This will give you the boost to your website, like SEO on freaking steroids. And um, so I'm listing at the top for, for these um, brushes. And it still shows up on Etsy, but the problem is, is that I'm competing with Etsy. So is someone going to buy from my shop or they're going to buy from Etsy, even though I'm up here at the very top here with, um, with the best of them. Okay. So like my listing is like, this is Etsy and this is a paid ad, by the way, these are paid ads that are up here. Everything below this line is organic. So I could probably make a wiki and, and show up over here and sell my items over here, like make a little um, like thing on wiki and put my name on it and get more credibility. There's other things because there's a whole listing over here that's just like not shown up because Edgar Allan Poe is just like really, um, it's, um, how should I say, it's a high volume search term, low comp, low competition. So that's what I mainly focus on. Like when I do my Etsy listings and stuff like that, I don't use the, like everybody fights over the, <laughs> even though I use E-Rank and I use, look at Marmalade, I don't use those keywords because everybody's using those keywords. So I use high traffic, um, low compete keywords, and that's how I make sales. I don't, probably don't make as many sales as other people, but I don't have a lot of competition. When I get a sale, like the little bit of traffic that I do get, I get a sale just like that. So um, I want to show you guys something. I, I want to show you that the listings are absolutely free. So you don't have to pay for these ads. They're free. And I'm just like scratching my head because I'm thinking that, Go that Etsy, well, they're charging us for these listing ourselves in, in, uh, the Google rank, as you've seen, and they're charging us for this. And I can't help but to think they're charging us for free listings. Because if I'm listing myself in the Google um, store area for free, how are they charging us for that? And, and so I'm just scratch my head, like, why should I even have an Etsy shop at this point? I'm leaving it up for now until I get more stuff set up. Not all my products have been approved. Let me tell you something about the Shopify Google integration. When you first set it up, you'll think that nothing is happening, like you did something wrong. It just takes a few days for them to matriculate, so try to be patient. And um, it is, it is um, not so easy to set up, I'm going to tell you that. Um, but there is an app that you can install and you can get help from people or pay people to do it. I just have to be, happen to be particularly very good at this type of stuff. Um, the shopping ads, this is where the paid ad. So as you can see, it's missing setup. I, they made me put my credit card information in here. So I don't want to set it up because I'm not trying for Google to like charge me like a billion dollars and <laughs> for some listings. I like the free listings though. Thank you, Google. But I just wanted to tell you guys that because this is freaking amazing. Let me show you a couple of other listings so you don't think I'm bullshitting you. All right, so let's just look at this cloud brush thing that I have here. All right, so if you go to Google search, bam, look who's showing up on top. Yeah. And so you see the Etsy is above me, but I believe that this is a... Um, I think it's an ad because all the ads that are on top, but look, look who shows up first. I show up first for my own listings here. And if you go to shopping, look who's showing up first. And this is, this is my product. This is Etsy's product. Are they paying for this ad? I don't know. Cause it look, yeah, it says ads. Look at that ads and I'm showing up here. So I'm basically screwing myself because Etsy's paying for ads here, which I probably might have to pay for. And I'm right here. Look, on my own shop. And um, here. And here. Now, because Etsy is paying for ads and they're also getting the free listing, what I would do is I would opt out of their listings. Um, I, I don't know if you can do that. But I think it's kind of messed up that, you know, we're paying for, for these ads and they might necessarily be free. 
Now, um, you can see here that it also shows that it's in stock, which means that it's showing up that it is for sale. This is a free listing. You can see that it's here. This is um, on my shop, photohacklevers.com, 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 photohacklevers.com. And you can see Etsy is below me. So I'm outranking them for the term aesthetic cloud Photoshop brushes. I'm killing their ass. I'm basically annihilating them in SEO SERP ranks. So this isn't very hard to do. I mean, I'll show you the apps that I have in Shopify and you can use them too. I mean, it's that simple, guys. These are the apps that I use. I use Smart SEO, which is $4.99. It's the cheaper app. I feel like it works the best. I use Reconvert, Upsell, and Crosssell. It doesn't charge you anything unless you, they like take a percentage of like, um, like if you make a whole bunch of sales and then they take a percentage of that. But you have to reach a certain threshold for them to take a percentage. It's very small and it's worth it. Schema Plus for SEO. Um, that's how I get the five star ratings, um, with Google integration. And then I have, um, Speedify page booster. It says that it charges me, but I don't see any usage charges on my account. So that's what makes my, um, Shopify even more. It kind of like takes your Shopify. It's fast already, but Speedify kind of takes it to lightning level. So you always want to have a fast site because customers get bored on your site. So I'll show you what the schema plus for SEO is for all the non-technical people um, and why it's worth the $15 a month. One of the reasons why Etsy ranks higher on the Richter scale and why some websites will outrank you and they'll appear on the first page is because they have the schema and the JSON and it is some complicated coding. I'm not going to sit there and explain it to you because it will make your head head bleed. So um, and it's just too much. It's too much to explain. I'm not even going to try. So um, these these listings here, we have the five star rating and the reviews, um, five star ratings and reviews. And I believe the more um, ratings you have, the higher you go in the SERPs. So because I only have one review on this product, it's not going up and in, into the rankings here. Um, you also have Pinterest um, because it is a a um, this is an ad from from Etsy. So um that, that's what that happens too. So I mean, still, when you're thinking in terms of of uh, cost and is Etsy worth it, this proves to you that it isn't. Um, I can show you even more if you want. I want to show you a product that was recent. And so I want to show you how quick this works. All right, so this product and on Creative Market, I love because you can see when this was created. This was created July 7th. It is 724. I'm going to show you how quick the search um, rank rank these products um, for you and why this integration with Shopify is just, it's something that you need in your life. So that's Aesthetics um, Pastel Sky Backgrounds. Go to shopping. Bam. I, I show up here for the first content for aesthetic pastel sky backgrounds. And I'm not paying for this guys. Cause you could see the ads were at the top and these are the free listings. Okay. So eventually my name will show up here. Once I get more listings here along next to creative fabrica, creative market, and all these other different, um, bum uh, websites that I've never heard of. So, um, yeah, so keeping an eye out on this and um, thanks so much guys for watching. I hope that this was useful to you. I hope it gave you some encouragement to, um, you know, to, you know, get off of Etsy. My high, I would highly recommend like going through your listings and whatever that's showing up on the Google um, shopping for Etsy and it's showing up, you know, for the free listings and stuff like that, but it isn't in your shop, I would leave those up. But I would say all of the listings, like the one where my Edgar Allan Poe Photoshop brushes are competing directly with Etsy, I would take those down. 
um, because what's going to end up happening is you're going to be paying Etsy for ads and you already have free advertisement. So that's just dumb if you ask me. But I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching and um, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some more fun stuff, more Photoshop videos coming soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell.